Sanguinella. A special event for 40k, but also an event for 40k fans who enjoy the hobby. The ones who paint the miniatures from Space Marines to Dreadnoughts and to Titans, or for the fans who read the lore of different events like the Horus Heresy, the Badab War, the War of the Beast might as well, but also many, many more. During this time when there are moments that people have a hard time of the Nurgus Plague, so I might as well thought I'd make a special video talking about Sanguinella and its origins that led to be a celebration for 40k. Sanguinella originated from the Primarch Seguinius of the Blood Angels that fought and sacrificed his life against the traitorous Primarch of Horus Lupercal of the Sons of Horus at the final moments of the Siege of Terra, and a few centuries later have passed on where science and progress have now became faithful and religious. Most people will see Sanguinius as their angel and as the protector of humanity. In order to celebrate Sanguinius' sacrifice for a better day for humanity, the Ecclesiarchy, who are mostly in charge of the Emperor's faith and many more, brought the Sanguinella to the Imperium. And every year on the Imperium calendar, the citizens of the Imperium and perhaps the Space Marines would celebrate this event till the present day of 40k. Even though this is a short description, all I have to say that Sanguinella is a unique moment to unite for those who enjoy 40k, as a whole to bring some joy for you and friends and maybe family of course if they're into the lobby as well. But obviously, if you're unable to do such things because of Nurgus Plague, there are some alternative ways to keep people in contact during Sanguinella. And here are some alternatives. Doing a video call, which is one of the examples. Do a pain stream while doing a video call. An astropath message. And chit chat together about 40k lore. Play hide and seek. Or maybe some other things that I'm unable to comment because of reasons. <laughs> And if you're unable to do such things for reasons, that's understandable. For a final thing and before I finish this video, I have some links in the description that I'll be putting up after I upload this video. If you would like your own Seguini's decoration on your tree for this year, there is this one that was out two years ago. It might be old, but it's still a cool decoration to have. And oh look, there's this, this recent one and it looks pretty beautiful I would say. But if you don't want those and want to make your own one, and whatever makes you think that makes it beautiful, I would say, you do you, and do it on your own enjoyment, because it ain't fun and you're not enjoying it too, and probably you try something that will suit you as well. And that's all it, thank you very much my brothers for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it too, in all of this special video that I made, if you are new, you know what to do, I don't have to explain to you. And just to give you a little heads up, I'm going to make some new videos coming along soon, they're in the middle of the process, but they will come out soon. But other than that, I will see you on the next video, and farewell my brothers, and take care.